ओके हे गाइस हाउ आर यू आर डूइंग आई होप यू आर आर डूइंग गुड सो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेली सॉरी फॉर बीइंग टू लेट ऑन दिस चैनल बट फ्रॉम नाउ आई विल रेगुलरली अपलोड वीडियोस अबाउट कोडिंग एंड ऑल दैट काइंड ऑफ स्टफ ओके गाइस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोना टेल यू हाउ टू डाउनलोड वीएस कोड एंड सेट अप द एनवायरमेंट फॉर टाइप सी एंड सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्राम्स इन इट ओके विदाउट एनी फर्दर ड्यू डिस्कशन लेट्स जंप राइट इनटू द वीडियो ओके गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओपन गूगल क्रोम एंड सर्च हेयर डाउनलोड वीएस कोड Okay, guys. Click the top link, and now select uh, the Windows if you are using Windows or another operating system. It depends on you. So I am using Windows, so I'll click on the Windows. Okay, okay. I I have already downloaded it, so I'll cancel the download and uh, open the directory where I downloaded it. Okay, guys. Here you can see my VS Code user setup. Double click on it. Click on I accept the agreement. Next. Okay, next, next. Okay, guys. Uh, listen to me very carefully. Click on this all options. Uh, it will help you in the in the further working or in the future. So click all those options and then click next, install. Okay, guys. Wait uh, it to install. Ah, uh, be patient. Uh, it is not gonna take too much time. Okay, so it is installed. Okay, launch. Uh, but guys, it's not actually ready. I'll close it because it's not actually completely ready to type C and C plus plus programs. Okay, guys, from here the main work starts. Okay, listen to me carefully, guys. Open your Chrome. Click on download M S Y S two. Okay, guys. See the first site. Click on it. Okay, download the installer. Click on it. So start download. So I have already downloaded. So I'll cancel it and just go to the place where I downloaded it. Okay, here you can see guys here M S Y S two. When the download is complete, uh, run on it. A setup a pop up like this will appear on your computer screen. Click on next. Okay, and see next, next. Okay, guys, uh, it's installing. Yeah, wait it to install. So be patient. Uh, don't go too fast or listen to me very carefully for complete knowledge. Okay, guys. Let it to install. Uh, okay, so guys, now my installation is completed. So it's uh, finish it, and uh, a pop up like this will appear on your screen. Okay, guys. So here you have to type some commands. I will provide the uh, uh, that three commands in the video description. Okay, copy the first command, copy and paste it here, and then click enter. Okay, wait it to recognize the databases or all other work. So be patient. It will take some time, uh, but don't go too fast or too soon. So wait. Okay, guys, here you see proceed with installation. Type Y and then click enter. Okay, he is installing the required files. Okay, be patient. Uh, okay, guys. Then again, guys, click Y and then hit Enter. Okay, guys, it automatically closed. Okay, guys. Now what you have to do is go to the directory where MSYS2 is installed. For your case and for mine case, obviously it's in the local C drive. Here is in open the C drive. And here you see a folder named MSYS64. Okay, guys, open the folder. Okay, guys, here you see too much files here. Okay, then what you have to do is, guys, run MSYS2. dot exe. Okay, guys, this is the application MSYS2. Here you see the application. Double click on it, and uh, at this type pop up will appear, and uh, copy the second command. Okay, wait. I'll give space. Net. Okay. Now copy the this command and then just paste it here and click enter. Okay, guys. Then click type Y, enter. Guys, watch this video very carefully. If if you will not watch carefully, then you obviously going to have issues with the installation or with your coding or I don't know what what kind of things. So be patient. Wait it for complete install. I'm not fast forwarding or not doing any kind of fast thing because it's very important thing uh, to learn. Uh, and as a programmer, if you are a programmer, you guys must have knowledge about these things. Okay, guys, done. Now, guys, copy the third command. This thing, copy it, 
paste it here and then click enter okay guys so again click enter click on y okay guys this is the main thing which is going to take some time for the installation so wait it to install be patient so wait for the complete installation so after that completing the installation i'll tell you how to set the environment variables so after doing all that work you will be easily uh, able to use your c or c++ uh, coding in your vvs code okay guys wait here for some time i'm not pausing video and not doing it fast forward uh, because uh, you must have to learn these things uh, that's the basics of installation and you must have to know these things if you are if you are going to do coc or c++ coding the programs okay okay guys so after some time it's going to complete okay wait i'll again start the video be patient uh, let uh, it to complete all files okay i think it's just going to complete very soon very fast okay wait here wait it to complete guys watch the video very careful carefully so you will gain all the knowledge about uh, vs code installation of uh, Ming, Ming GW or MSYS so for typing C and C++ programs very easily and fluently okay guys so after some time you see that it is uh, completed installation so then what to do here type here exit okay guys it will automatically close now guys uh, after doing all that installation is now the main thing starts which is about setting the environment variables so in msys folder click on ming w64 open the bin folder copy this now open your control panel go to system and security system here guys see advanced system settings go to advanced environment variables here guys see path click on edit and click on new guys paste here okay click okay the work is not till complete again open the directory go back here guys in msys folder you see usr open the folder click on bin copy this path again open your environment variables path edit new paste the second one here click okay 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 and boom guys you all set you all ready to go to code your vs code so okay so guys now i'll open my vs code and uh, uh, type a program for you so let's see okay guys i'll open okay that's i think my old code so let's close it oh guys first of all click on extensions guys search a c c plus plus i have already installed so you must guys install this extension c plus plus extension pack if you're going to do the coding go in c plus plus programming language then guys search here code runner okay guys so here's the code runner uh, also install it okay now let's go to it and make a file of uh, first uh, or test dot cpp okay guys so include as you guys you can see that i'm getting all the list of things available here okay using namespace std int main return zero and guys okay let's suppose i'll type here uh my name is a gamer so i'll save the program okay it's saved now when i'll click on run and you can see my name is a gamer so boom guys now you can do all type of your c plus plus coding in your vs code so if you are new make sure to like and subscribe see you in next video take care guys bye bye